my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ please be seated wherever you are yes today we begin 10 days a special spiritual journey to experience holy spirit i personally invite each one of you to attend this 10 days spiritual journey definitely you will be experiencing holy spirit throughout all these days if possible please attend this session with holy bible and a notebook write down all the word of god that inspire you and definitely holy spirit will talk to each one of you spiritual inspirations write down and that is how we improve our spiritual life so a beautiful opportunity we have given a title for this spiritual journey listen to and obey holy spirit that is what we read in luke's gospel chapter 12 verse 12 in the right time holy spirit will say to you what you need to speak in the right time holy spirit will tell you what you need to do unfortunately a lot of problems within us because we are not at all ready to listen holy spirit we listen this world we listen others so let us receive a training session during these 10 days holy spirit will talk to each one of you holy spirit will guide you yes let us obey what holy spirit says in order to understand the importance of this topic i would like to give two special word of god from the holy bible the first message from st paul's letter to timothy there is a beautiful two letters written by st paul to timothy first timothy chapter 4 verse 14 if possible please write down this word of god st paul's letter to timothy first letter chapter 4 verse 14 do not neglect the gift that is in you which was given to you through prophecy with the laying on of hands by the counsel of elders st paul says to timothy my dear do not neglect the gift do not neglect the gift that is holy spirit St Paul he used to give certain guidelines to Timothy always so the same guideline St Paul's he gives to each one of us do not neglect the holy spirit it is true that we have a tendency within us to listen the whole world and we neglect holy spirit so today as we begin this spiritual journey the first message please do not neglect holy spirit because already holy spirit is given to you it is inside of you so it is this is the time to experience the holy spirit what we received in our life i still remember a college student when he came for the retreat after attending the first session he asked to the team member always you people praying to holy spirit why 
already holy spirit is within us so why should we pray again and again for holy spirit maybe some of us may be thinking the same question why i need to pray again and again for the holy spirit because holy spirit is already within us have you noticed this in every session we begin with the beautiful prayer to holy spirit and we sing together welcome holy spirit why father that was the question asked by that college student why already holy spirit is within me so why should i ask again and again for holy spirit in order to understand this particular stage of life it is good to read st john's gospel chapter 20 st john's gospel chapter 20 verse 19 onwards this passage is a familiar to each one of us so let us read it and experience the power and presence of holy spirit st john's gospel chapter 20 verse 19 onwards when it was evening on that day the first day of the week and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you after he said this he showed them his hands and his side then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the lord jesus said to them again peace be with you as the father has sent me so i sent you when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit so the first sentence says when it was evening on that day which day when it was evening on that day yes easter day easter day evening something special happened the first day of the week the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you but your brothers and sisters 10 disciples were inside 10 disciples judas already gone out and yes our dear thomas was not there so all together 10 were inside what was their situation inside full of fear anxiety worries as may be the same situation for many of us fear anxiety worries Jesus came and stood in front of the man said to them peace be with you because Jesus understood this is what they need right now peace and comfort and that is a special greeting we read in the gospel after the resurrection not before the resurrection after the resurrection wherever Jesus appeared Jesus said peace be with you my dear brothers and sisters jesus gave peace and disciples they were happy they rejoiced and thereafter we read chapter 20 verse 22 when he had said this he breathed on them and said to them receive the holy spirit receive the holy spirit which means jesus gave to them holy spirit yes definitely they all received holy spirit but here is a question they received holy spirit but did they experience holy spirit that's a different question receiving is something different and experiencing that is total different matter disciples they received but when we read the gospel we read that they were not able to experience that how do you know that read the next chapter chapter 21 verse 3 
സൈമൺ പീറ്റർ സെറ്റു ദം ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ഫിഷിംഗ് ദ സെറ്റു ഹിം വി വിൽ ഗോ വിത്ത് യു സൈമൺ പീറ്റർ ഹി സെറ്റു ദ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് അതാ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ഫോർ ഫിഷിംഗ് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു റിസീവ്ഡ് ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഗോയിങ് ബാക്ക് ടു ഹിസ് ഓൾഡ് പ്രൊഫഷൻ Jesus already told him my dear hereafter you have a special duty you must stand for me not for fishing not for this world Jesus selected with a great purpose but unfortunately our peter he was not able to experience that peter he said to the his friends i am going for fishing what about you all they all said we all ready to come with you so they all went for fishing and we know what happened there after what happened for their fishing they did not get anything they were great fishermen but they did not get anything these things happens in each one of us our life think certain things we do but we don't get the result empty hands struggling remember already there is holy spirit within you that is what saint paul says to timothy my dear do not neglect the holy spirit already holy spirit is inside of you so don't neglect the holy spirit so this is the time to experience holy spirit as it is true that on the moment of baptism we received holy spirit and thereafter during the moment of confession every day as we attend the holy eucharist we receive holy spirit but a personal question to each one of us am i experiencing holy spirit i receive but am i experience what does it mean by experience holy spirit that is what we read acts of the apostles chapter 2 yes the great pentecost acts of the apostles chapter 2 words 1 to 4 the coming of the holy spirit When the day of Pentecost had come they were all together in one place and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind and it filled the entire house where they were sitting divided tongues as of fire appeared among them and the tongue rested on each of them all of them were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other languages as the spirit gave them ability yes from that moment onwards things all changed the great pentecost because after the resurrection how many days for pentecost 50 days after the resurrection 40 days jesus stayed with the disciples and thereafter ascension and then 10 days 10 days 120 people they prayed together who was their leader mother mary mother mary she guided each one of them they stayed together and prayed only for holy spirit continuous prayer 10 days they prayed together on the 10th day they experienced holy spirit they all received holy spirit before but when they were continuously praying for holy spirit slowly things changed in their life slowly changes took place in their personality we all are aware about all disciples character peter hot tempered john always waiting for to get a special assistance from from others 
always need a seat to sit in the right side and left side likewise every disciple they had lot of negativity in their character but pentecost that made the changes all of them they received experience the holy spirit things all changed thereafter my dear brother my dear sister that's the speciality of this journey 10 days of journey with the power and presence of holy spirit like 120 people with the power and presence of mother mary and very specially these are beautiful days because the whole world praying with mother mary reciting rosary and praying together yes beautiful days jesus is inviting each one of us let us experience holy spirit though you received on the day of baptism though you received on the time of confession have you experienced holy spirit if you experience holy spirit holy spirit will change you holy spirit will change your personality holy spirit will change all the negativity holy spirit will guide you that is what we read about our disciples thereafter all the changes took place they became bold they did not go back to their old profession thereafter always stand with jesus to preach about jesus wherever they go and they did not complain each other unfortunately we have a tendency we fight each other and we argue and then we blame each other but disciples after experiencing holy spirit but before that yes there were many occasions they were fighting each other they were not at all happy each other but after pentecost after pentecost things all changed this is what jesus expecting from each one of us experience holy spirit that is the second message of this day the first message saint paul's letter to timothy first letter chapter 4 verse 14 the second message saint paul's letter to timothy second letter chapter 1 verse 6 saint paul's letter to timothy second letter chapter 1 verse 6 for this reason i remind you to rekindle the gift of god that is within you through the laying on of my hands which means it is a time to rekindle what does it mean by rekindle rekindle experience again and again holy spirit first message saint paul said to timothy my dear do not neglect holy spirit is inside of you do not neglect now saint paul says to you and to me rekindle the gift which is inside of you what does it mean by rekindle already it is given to you so now it is the time to pray again and again again and again for holy spirit holy spirit 10 days continuously they prayed for holy spirit the same exercise the same exercise pop john paul ii he used to pray a simple prayer every moment come holy spirit simple prayer every moment he used to say come holy spirit today onwards a great exercise that what we do always say within us come holy spirit a simple prayer come holy spirit definitely that will make changes within us pray to holy spirit o oh, holy spirit guide me O oh, Holy Spirit, empower me. O oh, Holy Spirit, infill me. 
yes holy spirit will change you it is true that as we attend this holy adoration lot of anxiety lot of worries lot of tensions is it true yes how do you handle it always if you are going to think you will not be able to handle it because we are limited we are human beings let us trust in holy spirit the moment holy spirit takes control upon things things all will change we are giving ourselves to holy spirit and saying to holy spirit the holy spirit take control upon me oh holy spirit speak to me oh holy spirit i am ready to listen to you holy spirit will change things in our life holy spirit come holy spirit always it's our time to pray come holy spirit that is what is known as rekindling process rekindling process already it is inside of you yes it is true you are a christian you received baptism on the day of baptism you received holy spirit yes it is true it is true because certain people when we speak about holy spirit when we speak about pentecost when we speak about the rekindling process they used to say i am already a christian why should i pray again for holy spirit i i received holy spirit on the day of my baptism yes it is true you received i received but any changes in your character any changes in your personality we are the same we received but it is a time to rekindle it rekindle it i would like to give a, a beautiful example look at me this is a glass of water the moment i put some sugar on on it the sugar it will come and it will stay here so what i need to do i must take a spoon and thereafter i have to stir it i have to mix it that's a great process is it true the moment i do that then that sugar becomes the part of this water and thereafter when i drink yes there is sweet otherwise it is there so this mixing process stir it that is pentecost experience this mixing process that is rekindling process the 10 days this is what we are going to do we are going to mix already holy spirit is inside yes it is there inside inside so now it is a time to experience holy spirit so continuously pray to holy spirit so first day let us learn how mother mary received and experienced holy spirit with the beautiful word of god and this word of god will definitely help you throughout these 10 days to experience holy spirit st luke's gospel chapter 1 verse 35 a familiar word of god angel said to her holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you yes let us claim this message within us within us holy spirit will come upon me and the power of the most high will overshadow in it let us all stand in the presence of god wherever you are my dear brother my dear sister let us surrender ourselves to the holy spirit if possible please keep your both hands on our head close your eyes and surrender whole body and say to holy spirit oh holy spirit come and take control upon my life oh holy spirit i surrender to you oh holy spirit guide me oh holy spirit this is the time that i surrender to you i don't want to listen to the whole world i want to listen to you oh holy spirit like mother mary i am here i am here oh holy spirit touch and bless me oh holy spirit protect me oh holy spirit guide me let us pray to holy spirit 
O Holy Spirit, I need Thee. O Holy Spirit, come and stay within me. Let us all pray together. Come Holy Spirit Come Holy Spirit I need thee Come sweet spirit I pray Come Holy Spirit Come with your strength and your power Come Holy Spirit Let us stretch our both hands towards the holy altar and say to Holy Spirit, O oh Holy Spirit, take control upon my life. O oh Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. O oh Holy Spirit, here I am. For a moment, let us surrender and let us praise God to experience the power and presence of Holy Spirit. Yes, let us all open our mouth and praise God. Wherever you are, does it matter? the power and presence of Holy Spirit upon you, my dear brother, my dear sister. Does it matter wherever you are? If possible, open your mouth and praise God. Holy Spirit is touching each one of you. Holy Spirit is inspiring each one of you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the power. The Holy Spirit will change you. Let us all praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh Holy Spirit, 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 hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Keep our both hands on our chest and say together, Come Holy Spirit, I need you. Come Holy Spirit, I pray. Come with your power. Oh Holy Spirit, stay within me. Let us close our eyes. Keep both hands on our chest and surrender our body and experience the power and presence of Holy Spirit within you. Holy Spirit is taking control upon your body. Holy Spirit is healing you. So right now, welcome Holy Spirit. Come to Holy Spirit. I need you. Let us all sing together. Come Holy Spirit, I need you. Come sweet Spirit, I pray. strength and your power come in your own gentle way come Holy Spirit come Holy Spirit I need you come sweet Spirit I pray Come with your strength and your power. Come in your own gentle way. Once again, stretch your both hands towards the holy altar and praise God. Experience the power and presence of Holy Spirit. Oh Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. Oh Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. Surrender all our prayer intentions, all our worries and tensions, all our negativity. Surrender to Holy Spirit. Yes, the disciples on the day of Pentecost, they received the power and presence of Holy Spirit and they were able to experience that. 
likewise on this day we surrender and praying to holy spirit oh holy spirit i surrender to you surrender your family surrender all your family friends surrender to jesus oh jesus here i surrender to you let us all praise god hallelujah 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 open your mouth and praise god yes holy spirit mighty anointing upon each one of you holy spirit is taking control upon many of you yes holy spirit is healing many of you receive the healing touch right now receive the healing touch receive the healing touch yes holy spirit is taking control upon you yes holy spirit is taking control upon you yes a family worried about a big financial matter the entire family is attending this holy adoration holy spirit says to you my dear don't worry trust in god yes holy spirit is taking control upon you and he will open a door for you he will open a door for you definitely right now you are in darkness but this is a great moment that the holy spirit is opening a door for you a door of blessing yes let us claim thank you lord i praise you lord i worship you lord hallelujah 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 jesus is giving special grace anointing healing upon many of us many were gifted with the gift of tongue and some of us were not using this gift of tongue now holy spirit says you must use this gift of tongue don't doubt on it don't confuse with it you must use this gift of tongue jesus is blessing placid a person named placid jesus is specially blessing him because he is having an interview jesus is blessing you jesus is blessing flora jesus is specially call a person named savio jesus is with you receive the healing touch jesus is blessing you jesus is blessing marina joseph yes this is a time a personal invitation to each one of you to experience holy spirit yes jesus is blessing pamela yes receive the healing touch receive the healing touch receive the healing touch a bedridden patient attending this holy adoration my dear in the midst of this sickness in the midst of this negativity jesus is touching you jesus is touching you receive the healing touch receive the healing touch receive the healing touch thank you lord i praise you lord i worship you lord i worship you lord thank you lord every one of us wherever you are receive the healing touch severe back pain jesus is healing right now severe back pain those who are having this back pain right now check it out examine yourself because jesus is healing you jesus is healing a person who is having a wound on his right leg jesus is healing you right now wherever you are experience a healing touch experience the healing touch hallelujah 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 thank you lord i praise you lord i worship you lord come holy spirit i need you come holy spirit i need you amen amen come sweet spirit i pray come with your strength and your power come holy spirit come in your own gentle my dear brothers and sisters wherever you are please be seated as we attend this adoration this prayer service always we experience jesus healing touch jesus healing touch as yes, there are lot of testimonies as we listen this testimonies please claim the same healing for each one of us a beautiful testimony from joan from mumbai i started participating in the adoration and holy hour from april 1st 2024 
I have sat with the Lord regularly after that. It has become my source of strength and grace every morning, a treasure that I have found in the sunset of my life. On the 10th of April, Father mentioned that the Lord was healing somebody of a sleep problem, that the person was sleeping sometimes for only an hour. I claim that healing for myself as the whole of March 2024, I had been suffering from that problem due to a deep hurt within me. From that day onwards, my normal sleep returned and there have been days when I even sleep right through the night. Thank you, Lord, and praise you, dear Jesus, for loving me so much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 For a moment, lift your right hand. Keep your left hand on your chest. Surrender your life. And claim the same healing for each one of us. Especially those who do not get sleep properly, regularly. If there is any disorder, surrender to Jesus. Oh Jesus, send your love, Holy Spirit upon me. And heal me, Lord. And today onwards I claim a proper sleep in my life. Claim, claim right now. Yes. Today onwards I claim proper sleep because Holy Spirit is taking control upon me. Yes. Let us claim with Mother Mary, praying together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yes, again, from Kenya, Anastakia, a beautiful testimony. The most recent being peace in my heart restoration of my marriage relationship which was at the verge of breaking and starting family prayer. Towards the end of May 2024, I started listening to recorded online reflection and healing adoration from the center. Coincidentally, I was undergoing stressful moments in my marriage relationship. When the retreat on, when the retreat when the retreat on the consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus began on 1st June 2024, I started listening to the recorded preaching daily as I could not join LIFT due to uh, my nature of work. From the first day, I started experiencing a lot of peace in my heart, releasing all the bitterness I had related to alleged causes of my strained marriage relationship. Toward the end of the novena, a lot of spiritual transformation had taken place. My husband and I were able to talk and resolve the issues straining our relationship. My husband started joining us for our evening family prayers. Even up to today, we are experiencing peace which have never experienced before. All glory to God for his mighty touch. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we lift once again our right hand, keep our left hand on our chest, surrender all our family issues? Yes. This testimony, let it, let it be a great lesson for me, O oh God. Surrender all the family issues, all the misunderstanding, broken relationship, all the crisis, whatever it may be, surrender to Jesus. Oh Jesus, right now I claim mighty healings upon my family. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Whatever the crisis, I believe and I claim your presence in my family, the peace and comfort. Oh God, I claim, we pray together with Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And again, one more beautiful testimony from Marian Pramila. I had been suffering from hand tremors for quite some time. I stumbled across Divine Retreat Center Colombo YouTube channel and, and Father said someone is receiving the healing of hand shaking. I claimed the healing immediately for myself at the time of their two Marian apparition retreat 
now i am completely healed thank you jesus praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. let us all kneel down in the presence of god as we prepare to receive this eucharistic blessing let us claim yes jesus presence here with me oh jesus thank you lord and i claim mighty healings throughout this 10 days yes oh god i was experiencing mighty blessings during the last days all the days yes i claim i believe and i claim yes especially while father was talking about depression father michael was explaining and praying for people those who are having depression last all the days i was experiencing let us claim that yes yes oh god i was experiencing mighty healing the same healing touch the same anointing i claim hereafter in my life yes holy spirit will empower me the holy spirit will touch me holy spirit will take control upon my life let us join our hands and let us prepare to receive adoration blessing let us bow adoration to the sacrament so great here is new and perfect worship have given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight let's pray lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the father and the holy spirit one god for ever and ever amen 